And all of the stuff I've done, I've been in the military, I've been a police officer, I've been in some crazy stuff, and that was the scared, most scared I've ever been in my life, was um, being absolutely powerless and um, with, with my daughter, uh, having to uh, watch other professionals do their work, not being able to help other than just to hold her and hope and pray that they knew what they were doing and just being so relieved that they did. Hayden is our little wild child. She is so funny and so full of personality and she is the most joyful human I've ever met. She is just our ray of sunshine. I remember it was right before Memorial Day. After we finished dinner, Hayden's lip was looking really swollen and it was really sticking out, making her look very pouty. The advice nurse said, I don't want to worry you, but you need to go to the emergency room is I think your daughter's having an allergic reaction to something that she ate, and that can be very serious. We rushed over there, and being in Newburgh, it was, it was nice that it was so close. The intake person took one look at her and her mouth and said, oh, you need to come in with us right now. They immediately gave her a shot of epinephrine, and they were trying to place an IV because they wanted to give her some IV steroids, and that's when it got really scary. The nurse popped his head out the door and said, we need respiratory. When we had Hayden hyperventilating and struggling to breathe, that was the scariest moment of my life. I'll never forget that feeling of helplessness, of uh, watching my baby girl screaming and, and then seeing just people rushing in to help her. The care at Providence Newberg was amazing. Every person that we encountered was so kind and they were so comforting, um, not just to us, but to Hayden as well. This is, you know, a, a one and a half year old who is sitting in a hospital bed and is going through a traumatic medical event. I hate to even think about what would have happened if we had to get in the car and drive to St. Bees. You know, would, would she have stopped breathing in the car on the way there? At the end of the day, Newburgh is still a rural community, and so having the emergency room right here five minutes from our house, I think, is honestly what saves lives because it's so close. Having a good quality emergency room can literally be the difference between life and death. I'm very grateful knowing that they're right there and that they have taken such good care of her and they will do so again if we ever need to go back. She runs and she climbs and she's just fearless. So I think she's amazing and uh, just very happy that we got the care we needed and she's still here with us.